Oh, it must be getting low. It must be getting low now. Oh, no, it's still not open. Will you just open already? How's it going, crew? This is Happy Days, and welcome back to our Expert Thorium Thrower Let's Play. And we are straight back into the action today, guys, because we have pillars to take down and a Moon Lord to defeat. And I'm excited to really get into the action today. And we are already taking a smashing from these Nebula mobs, uh, which is kind of scary, but we should be okay. They have spawned right next to our base. Which they always seem to do, it's so unfair. <laughs> but I'm clearing the way so we can make a bit of an arena later for the Moon Lord. And I'm actually going to try something different today. Something that is a little bit silly. Um, it might get me killed very horribly. But uh, I am happy to give it a shot. <laughs> also, thanks for the support as always, guys. Almost 2,500 likes on our last Rufus episode. That is incredible support. So thank you so much to each and every one of you. So, we have a lot to do here. We're going to take out the remaining two pillars. Also, oh, no, I'm almost dead. Run, Rufus, run. <laughs> we also have our solar fragments from last episode because we did take on the solar pillar first. And what I want to do is make the daybreak uh, because with the Zoklin mod, we can change that into a throwing weapon, uh, which will be very, very useful indeed. And I can almost heal. Almost. Yes. Okay, we've got to heal off. Beautiful. I've got my vamp knives as well. Uh, I wish they were homing. That would make them just amazing. But as long as I aim, we should be okay here. Yes, going very nice. All right, let's skip ahead to the pillar's destruction. Ah! It looks like the shields are down, so it is time to YOLO to the pillar and see if we can take it out. Oh, please don't kill me, mobs. Please don't kill me. And let's use our kunai for this. They do some pretty nice direct damage. And against a not moving or an immobile target, they should be very nice indeed. Yeah, they're doing a good job. Very nice. Going to throw a heal on there. Yes, I did die once, but hey, what are you going to do, guys? This is a tough pillar, but we have to free our town. And let's get all of these nice fragments. Oh, so good. Um, because we can also make something called a Stellar Fragment uh, with the Zoklin mod, which I think you can make uh, a special ninja armor out of it, uh, which would be very nice indeed. But let's go and make our daybreak now. And Pixie, out of the way. <laughs> ah, beautiful. And I'm probably going to remove all of this old arena to make way for our new one. Uh, but let's see. I need to go to our ancient manipulator here. And let's make our daybreak. And that should... Yep, we can right-click that. Oh, yes. Look at the damage! Oh, that is insane! Oh, that is so high! Oh, wow. Oh, guys, I was I was just thinking it was going to be normal. Like, you know, like 150, 200. Whoa! Oh, that's incredible. That's incredible. <laughs> so now that we've got our nice new weapon, I'm pretty sure the next pillar is... Yep, okay. It's just to the left of our base. It's so close. Oh, it's the snowman. <laughs> oh, I remember the snowman. <laughs> that was like from the very start of our adventure. Rufus, that is the worst snowman I've ever seen in my life. No, the hat doesn't make it even better. Oh, wow. These thrown uh, daybreaks are... Just so, so good. Wow, that is going to wreck the Moon Lord's core. Whoa, but uh, talking about being wrecked, our health is getting wrecked too. Um, and I think for the pillars, we're still going to be better off with our homing weapons. Um, so direct damage, the daybreak, we've got that sorted now. Uh, yeah, but for, you know, dealing with invasions and lots of mobs, we are going to need some homing still, but that's going okay. Oh, thanks to everyone who's entering our giveaway too. I loved reading through all of your comments. I think there was over 5,000 comments, so I'm slowly getting through them, guys. Thanks to everyone who was leaving awesome messages and, yeah, just saying, you know, when you joined our channel and all that cool stuff. It's, um, yeah, it's, it's been really, really fun. All right, people, it looks like the shields are down, so let's YOLO again for the pillar. Ooh, where are you, crazy pillar? Oh, oh we should use Daybreak against it. Yes, look at that beautiful damage. And I've just thrown on my True Strikes. Uh, buff, which only lasts like 10, 15 seconds, but it should make most of my hits critical. It's actually supposed to make all of them critical, but it doesn't always work. But hey, it's all good. And we have been hit with the distorted debuff. Oh, did I kill it? No, no. Ah! All right, there we go. We got it. But I can't move. I can't move. Oh, these alien queens are the worst. Oh, and they spit babies everywhere. Okay, I think, I think we've got them. Yes, yes, I think we're good. Oh, no, I'm still distorted. Okay, we've got to finish off that queen. Let's throw some shurikens. Get rid of all of them. 
And I think we got a nice number of fragments. 50. We're doing well. This is going very nice. Sorry, it's a little bit dark. So what we're going to do is wait for morning and get our arena started, people. Engineer Rufus reporting for duty. And I thought, guys, we have a weapon that can pass through blocks and we need to make something awesome to fight the Moon Lord with. And I thought to myself, let's make a roller coaster. So I've made a little arena here that has booster tracks. And what it does is sort of keep us moving the whole time. It's got a little honey bubble and we can be attacking the Moon Lord while we're running around in style. Now, I have never tried this before, so I may, I might be about to die quite miserably. Um, but I'm, I don't know, I want to try it. It's something different, it's our finale. So I thought, let's try something out here. Now that we've done those little odd jobs, there's one last thing we need to do, and that's actually make a few upgraded uh, items. So what we need is to make some Stardust Fragments, because, you know, obviously I don't want to do this just as the Moon Lord summoning. And we can make a Stellar Ninja Emblem. I'm pretty sure I need to make Stellar Fragments first, that's right. So one, two, three, four, five. So they're made with one of each fragment. And then we can actually upgrade to Stellar Emblem. Uh, which gives us an extra 10% damage, which is awesome. Uh, then what I need to do is make a few more fragments, maybe, yeah, about that. And then we're going to get five of each, uh, because I want to upgrade my potions, uh, my healing potions to super healing. Uh, so I've gotten all of our greater healings that we got from all the mimics. And now we go to our alchemy station, and I should be able to make them there. And we got 24 out of the bargain. I can make more fragments, but... 24 is more than enough. Uh, so let's see what good old uh, Aiden uh, has for sale. What you got, Aiden? What you got? Uh, no, we don't need that. I've got plenty of Dynasty. Bricklayer. Might have been fun earlier. Uh, that's pretty much it. No, we're good to go. Let's go fight a pillar. Alright, guys. Here we are at the last pillar. It is the Stardust one. And we are ready for the final showdown. I've made a few more of the Bugenkai Shuriken. If you remember, we farmed lots of Dark Matter, so I could have plenty of them. Uh, also, I was looking at my accessories, and I had boots and wings equipped, which I still do. Uh, but I'm like, they're going to be kind of useless in the Moon Lord battle, especially if I'm on a roller coaster. So I thought, okay, I had the parts for a Charm of Myths. Uh, so I've got that equipped. Uh, there it is. So I'll swap that in when we start the battle. Also, we were so close to a Celestial Shell. I'm like, well, it is one of my favorite accessories in the game. So I think that was worth a quick... Actually, I should put my buffs on. I thought that was worth a quick sort of swap over there. So we've beaten enough of the mobs, and now comes the fun part. <laughs> and I say that loosely because I've spent so long setting up my arena. If you can see on my mini-map, the, uh, the pillar has launched itself underground. So I think we've almost got it. Yep, all right, beautiful. Let's throw some more shuriken in there. Oh, wow. That's so bad when it buries under the ground. It's worse on Solar Pillar, though. It's happened to me a few times now. Yeah, but that's okay. Oh, no, don't get caught near a Flow Invader. No. Oh, all right, let's grab those pillars. Oh, no, 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 the fragments. Ah, no. Ah, no. Oh, all right, there we go. I can get these. I can get them. Quick, just got to believe happy. And quick, let's get back to base. Beautiful. All right, so I'm going to turn on my heart generators. Ah, oh, lovely. All right, we've got, a, we've got a few seconds to relax. I'm going to reset my buffs, guys. Let's get ready for this battle. Here it comes, people. It is party time. Let's get our buffs on, and let's start run running. <laughs> let's start driving. <laughs> I don't know what to call it, but... Uh, oh, I can actually use my daybreak a bit. That's kind of cool. I thought it was going to be shurikens all the way, but... Uh, looks like I might be able to use a bit of this. That's nice. I am not complaining. Um... So yeah, I've got no idea how this is going to work, um, but we've got our Charm of Myths, so I might be a bit more liberal. Actually, I'll throw a potion on now. Yeah, I might use potions a little bit more often uh, because I don't, you know, the d difference between a minute and 45 seconds is pretty huge, um, especially in the Moon Lord battle. So 
Yeah, I don't mind throwing a few extra ones there. Now, I don't know if we're going to be able to stay on the track for the whole time, uh, but I'm definitely happy to give it a shot. So let's use some of our shuriken. Now, if I made this uh, minecart track again, what I'd probably do is make it more diagonal, like what you do with the cosmic car key, you know, like flying in zigzags. Um, I think the problem with this is that it's too straight, uh, so a lot of the projectiles are going to hit me. Um, actually, it might speed it up a tiny bit. Um, and yeah, so anyway, it's the first go. I thought I'd give it a shot and yeah, see what happens. Alright, speeding up a bit, trying to get some extra damage in. Uh, just slow down a bit there so I don't bump into the, the sidewalls. That would be a bit sad. Uh, how long off your heal? Oh, I can use one now. Actually, I might use one. Uh, just so we're, you know, getting those awesome hit points as much as possible. So it looks like the forward eye is going to be a bit of an issue here. I might even jump out of the box uh, and try and attack the eye. We'll, we'll keep going and see if we can hit it. Yep, I think. Is the core open? I don't know. I can't tell. I can't tell. Is the core open? Is it, yes, it's open. It's open. Let's try some daybreak. Oh, yeah. We'll get some daybreak. And then I'll swap to shuriken on the top layer. Yeah, yeah. Oh, no. I might need to. Yeah, I do. I do need to. Definitely need to. All right. Throwing some buffs back on. Let's see if I can get some more daybreak into it. Oh, it's hard to aim. It's hard to aim. I can't see where I'm aiming. <laughs> okay, there we go. Beautiful. Getting some more of that. Let's get our shuriken back up. Lovely. I just got an achievement. <laughs> v vehicular manslaughter. Oh, I must have killed something with the minecart. <laughs> Alright, throwing another potion on, guys. We were taking a bit of hurt then. Alright, there we go. Getting some more shuriken in. We're doing alright. Oh, I don't know. Alright, get... Oh, I'm getting some good daybreak in there, I think. Uh, so that's pretty nice. That's pretty nice. Alright, swapping, getting some more daybreak. Beautiful. Uh, I think my true strikes is active. Yes, it is. Uh, let's get some more of that. Alright, oh, yep, yep. Okay, we're getting those daybreak in. Uh, swapping back to Shuriken. Oh, it's getting low, guys. It's getting low. Oh. Okay, throwing the rest of my buffs back on. Swapping to daybreak. Oh, man. I can't look at my health while I'm looking at the core. Oh, it's such a dangerous time. Oh, okay, okay, yep, yep. Alright, there we go. Got a few more then. How long off potion charge? Two seconds. Alright, so should I throw one on? Yeah, I think I'll be safe here. There we go. Oh, hopefully getting some daybreaks. Yes, yes, yes! We did it! <laughs> oh, yes! Take that, Moon Lord. Oh, you're no match for a minecart. Oh, oh, that's so awesome! Yeah, I'm so glad this worked. <laughs> oh, wow. Wow. Oh, I can teleport. Sweet. <laughs> okay. Oh, and the dryer didn't die for once. Yay. Oh, man. Oh, let's get rid of some of this junk. Don't need that stuff. Don't oh, no. I got rid of my heart reach. Oh, we got moon fragments. <gasps> That's new. Okay. Let's get rid of that. Uh, I've got plenty of those. All right. Let's just keep the important stuff. And now it's time for treasure, guys. And I'm interested to see what this new material does. All right, you ready? Three, two, one, boom! <gasps> ah, we got a dev set. <laughs> I got Senex's stuff. Uh, oh, it's not letting me equip it. Oh, oh, they're the wings. Oh, I did that last time. <laughs> okay, Rufus, you can be Senex. There you go. <laughs> you look lovely. <laughs> no, no, we won't embarrass Rufus after he's just defeated the Moon Lord. So, what did we get? We got the suspicious looking tentacle, always fun. Uh, what else? Got portal guns, luminite ore. Uh, we've got the an awful SDMG. That is a material as well. Oh, and a portal gun. Oh, I think I might have said that already. I don't know. Anyway, I really want to find out what this moon fragment does. Oh, I don't have my wings or my boots on. Let's 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 fix that, shall we? So, where is the guide? Yep, you're still there. Good as always. And let's see what these do. <gasps> Look at all this stuff. This is all from. Is this all from Zoklin? I think it might be. Wow, so you can pretty much change all the Moon Lord stuff into... Uh, oh, you can change that to a thrown weapon, that's cool. Wow, guys, so much stuff. <laughs> oh, thrown Skybreaker. I need a North Pole to make it, though. And 20 fragments, I don't have enough. Oh, that's a shame. That's a shame. 